Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Warno ranked match. We got on the right side, Team Man himself. Guy, check out his YouTube channel and check out his Twitch channel. He's a really, really great Warno player. Anyway, let's. He's playing third armored, and I am playing Sud in the red. Let's go over to Plummets here. He's opening up with an AT4 going down toward the southern side, and then he's going down with Bradley, Engineer Dragon, some snipers, Command M1, M1A1, another Bradley, some more st Stinger. Engineers, Engineer Dragon, Singers, and Fire Team Law with some uh, Bradleys and two more Snipers. Me on the other side, I am opening up with two Green Berets, a Full Schmager, Green Beret and Full Schmager going for the Skyscrapers while the one goes up to the far north. Two AMXs with two Full Schmangers with a Green Beret going for this area with two VLRA and a CV in the north. Two AMXs in the south, kind of pushing, pincering the center position here of Echo. And with the VLLA, sorry, VLRA 20 mil with a full Schmager, another VLRA 20 mil, and a Green Beret, and another CV. And let's kick this game off. The plan here, at least, was, you know, lock down this area. I thought maybe he would contest it with some helos of some kind. That's why I see all the VLRAs going this way. And push pretty strongly for Echo. And hopefully then later on I can attack Sulu. That was kind of the plan. But uh, you can see there that... You know, Team Man is not letting me get what I want here. He's playing playing pretty conservatively here. Opening up with slow units. Pretty deploying pretty far back. No real interest in fighting too far. You know, like, no real interest in, like, pushing forward. Let's bring a sniper here, though. It's going to get pretty good eyes here. Um, for the sniper unit. And they're going to just pretty much spot everything here. I just see a unit going here. I thought it was an ATGM, honestly. So I just marked it for myself. All misses on the Humvees. But I get in here pretty well. Sniper unit is going to open up on me. <coughs> but I can't see him. He's got exceptional stealth. I don't think he's fired a round yet. <laughs> Over here, got a little bit of action, sniper, but with all these dragons here, it's going to be a no go here. Sniper taking a pounding here from the AMX. And he goes down. First kill of the game. Over here, yeah, Green Bray is going to go down. He's going to take the northern point pretty easily. And he's not doing anything over here. So I pretty much over-invested a lot of resources into this location. Probably shouldn't have. I decide I'm going to go for this area here. He's got a lot of Engineer Dragons, though. They have 100% accuracy at the moment. And a bug of stealth. Or, sorry, stuns every shot. Which is kind of BS, honestly. <laughs> but should be patched. That 320 suppression is way too high. It should go down in the future. Just opening up here. I see a CV coming into the zone. Thinking about buying an LGB in a second to come kill it. He does have a stinger here. And does he have any more AA? Not really, that's kind of it. We got another stinger in the far north. He does have an F-15 hanging out on the top. <laughs> I decide I'm gonna go for it anyway. A really good kill. I do stun him with a green beret shot. Him again. LGB comes in. Drops its payload. Try to peel out, but he does get me, but I accept it. And I kill his CV tank. Making me go positive here. Do lose a uh, kill Bradley here, but I do lose one of my AMXs. Try to fire around here. I try to cover behind my smoke, but my smoke does disappear, sadly. And not looking good for me there. And he gets a nice clean hit, killing me. I should have just kept at it and charged him. AMX is moving up here now. And he brings these uh, fire team laws double vetted. Pretty interesting. No CV-10 coming in here. F-15 just loitering around. By my first roll in threes. Give me up his engineers. I got green berets though. <coughs> Move up this guy as well. <coughs> Engineer firing at me. See how it misses, but still stuns? Nope, just hits every time. And it stuns you every time. I'm just starting to see that slow build up. My Rollinger coming up. He's got two more tanks coming with the M1A1 CV. And then he also has a M1A1 command, uh, normal tank. Which is one vetted. And we're seeing him rotate his CV over here. Looking for something. He's got a lot of forces over here locking down this area. Sniper here. Just taking off shots on me though. I'm going to get behind cover. Rally's opening up on me as well. 
F15 just hanging out over here, and it's it's pretty good, honestly, for a team man here. He's he's playing slow, not losing too many units, and allowing himself to build up a blob of M, you know, heavy tanks here. He's already killed one of my LGBs. I only have one more. Buying off Claire with a Milan 2 here. Engineers are now engaging. The sniper is still taking shots at me, so I can't tell. He's gonna get in this building. I should be able to throw satchels. Mm, not quite. But 2v1, that's not good. Here, here. Trying to fight the engineers. And we're seeing a whole bunch more engineer dragons coming in here. All zero vet because he knows they're going to hit every shot. Or at least stun every shot. He finally moves up on me. Throwing a satchel. I do throw my satchels. Throw another satchel on him. Stunning him. He throws another satchel on me. I do die. Got him ATGM here. Almost hit his Bradley. I have a fighter coming in here. I'm bringing up a bomber. Try to go for these engineer dragons. And he gets a nice clean kill there, it looks like. So I get a nice clean kill. Pretty much wipe out two squads there. So I got a Carl G here. He moves a little bit too close. Killed it. He's gonna back up there. Both engineers are wounded. He stunned his engineer here. It does go down. I probably could have pushed up a little more. And taken back to center position. We see some engineer dragons still coming down the southern flank. He's getting a CV into the zone now. Got my fighter just hanging out here. A cheap one. I was trying to bait him into my rolling threes. I got three of them now on the battlefield. Trying to bait him over to come after me. He's not taking the bait. Sending his F-15 home. Now he's got an F-4 Phantom. And another F-15. Moving my CV back into the zone now. Now we're even. Seeing another M1A1 coming up right now. You see me bringing up some Milan carriers. I got a CV in the zone the moment he leaves. He's going to have to come back into the zone. So I can hit him. This building's been leveled. He smokes. Another M1 comes up. I'm going to back off, though. Not interested in a 2v1. Milan, not going to win that engagement. Fireteam Law engaged in my Carl. Who's a VLRA there? Fire just loitering around. He's got his foot lo fighter loitering around. Bring up a Gazelle Ho, too. Trying to get some ATGM hits here. He smokes himself off. MMG now opening up on him. Then the Abrams opens up on me. Move up my roll in here and try to kill the Silo. Just a jamming one. Two of them fire now. Hit one hit, but not get any kills. Another uh, Milan firing now. Trying to get some hits here. He rotates his tank into the shot to take it, take it out. He's just firing now blindly into the zone. He obviously cannot see. I'm, I'm the building behind though. Which I can still see him. Moved up another Milan to help out. Nice hit there. Doing some good damage. Got my own Milan now here as well. Another one firing. And now there's two Milans coming at him. And we do lose an M1A1 there. Or he does, sorry. <laughs> Which is a pretty big kill, honestly. Though I'm starting to get overwhelmed by these engineer dragons who just somehow are beating everybody. Even though they're 40 points. Fill a supply, trying to retreat. I'm moving my CV out of the zone so I don't get killed by the engineer dragons. And I'm moving over here too, trying to help out. Get a better angle. He has to leave the zone too. And my vehicle's here helping out. Dragons are almost in range of me. Get a nice hit there. Bombers come in here. Two light bombers. 
Wait for these engineers. Kill one. Kill the other. And he didn't have his F-15 up in time. We're plus one on him right now. We are losing our ATGM slowly. Bring up some more Jaeger. Carl G's here. F-15 again is back up, ready for action. He's bringing up an Apache. I see this Apache pretty early on when it gets around here and I buy two fighters to come after him in a second. Milan 2 still ready to go here, putting down some heat. But uh, O2 is also ready. He's moving his engineer over to the side here. I'm moving up my reinforcements now. Bring up even more engineer. They're so OP, my god. 40 points garbage. But somehow they have great ATGM now with when it used to be terrible. And they also now have somehow they're just like gunning down everyone else in squad engagements. Even though I'm a bigger squad with designated infantry <laughs> and more expensive. I'm a little slow to micro here on don't load in time. Then another bomber here. Miss line of sight. I peeled back over, trying to bait the F-15 in. I have a fighter coming in here, going in for the Apache. He misses his hits. He gets some of the hits in. I decided to send in a second fighter to finish it off. Patchy goes down. And I do get away with it. Seeing him bring up some M109s here. I'm bringing up some Milans to hit different angles here. Trying to go in for my HE bomber. I do get a hit almost. He knows there's a lot of rollings up now. I'm going to move my CV back in the zone now. I see these guys are engaging engineers. I'm double vetted with the CV there. I'm going to get behind cover of the tanks aiming at me. What do we see from him coming up? Another artillery piece now. Milan's going to start firing now on the M1A1. Smokes off. Now it's just these guys three engaging. Somehow I'm kind of not winning this engagement. Bombers come in though. All engineers. So Ito comes in here. Gets one of my AMXs. We do cap the zone there. Plus two now. Really nothing else going on at the moment. I'm thinking about buying artillery. Yeah, you see me buying them. My M110s are coming on the battlefield now. A little bit of engagement here with the Jaeger versus Engineer. Should win that engagement with the Jaeger. I'm vetted up as well. I'm trying to hit a supply as he tries to rearm. Chillery comes in here, kills supply truck. He tries firing at me right there. I fire my HGM back at him. I get a hit. I'm going to back off in a second, as you can see. I'm trying to get away to live. <laughs> We do sneak away. F-15 here just hanging out still in the rear. He's saying his artillery now popping off my Milan. He's aiming at the correct position on top of me. One fifty fives. And you can see the shot goes out. <laughs> Misses. <laughs> Firing at this squad now. Misses again. I think he's aiming at the wrong building, actually. Yeah, missed all his. Looks like he's gonna miss all his shots here. Yeah, I think he's aiming right at the front of the building, not the building behind it. I'm gonna move these guys out of position here. Luckily, I do this actually just by chance. I don't think he's got any. Yeah, he's got some correct shot with that, but that's about it. 
Over here, I buy two Jaeger and start probing the side. But we're still plus on him right now. Artillery is about to get into the engagement now. Looking to kill some of these tanks. F-15 still flying around. What's the enemy got now? Sure name with these two guys in here. I'm about to move them up though. Milan 2 still up and operational. Gets a nice hit on him. Put him down to health. He realizes I'm still all here. Artillery is now aiming at something. Oh, almost got a kill there, but not quite. I decide I'm gonna aim at the CV. F-15 comes in here. I'm coming with my bombers. You shoot down his F-15. Bombers come out. Somehow that engineer does survive. Fire around. Don't fire them at the same time by mistake. Would you route him there? And let's see if the last shot can finish him off. And we do get the kill, making it go neutral. He does kill my CV though in response with his Ito. AMX here, just sitting here, not doing anything. I do move up these forces. And I really should be pushing up here. I didn't really realize how much is up here. I saw this Bradley and it was kind of messing me up. My Ito here, still trying to get some kills. Yeah, it keeps missing. We're seeing three tanks now on the front line. Good suppression with his artillery. We're seeing a fourth tank now coming. <laughs> Which is not looking great for me now at this point. He's starting to get the blob going. Seeing two here, another one here. And we got another command tank here and probably even more coming on their way. Making this like line, nice perimeter, pretty much. I decided I'm gonna start aiming at his artillery. I was like, I'm sick of this stuff, so I was gonna try to get him. I didn't think he had been moving it. And that goes one of his M110s. Or, yeah, M109, sorry. <laughs> Seeing another tank come out now with another F-15. It's about to switch out with the Phantom. A little bit of pause here. He's starting to push through here now. I think he's trying to get into this area. He has Recon Hilo. Jamming in to crack a shot. And what is he aiming at now? More of my Jaeger. And really, I could have broken through the side if I had just invested a little bit of resources. But I really just didn't know. <clears throat> you can see I'm sending reinforcements there. We're taking a pounding from artillery. Got a Ho 2 coming in here, another one. Just trying to keep him now in line. Like, I'm okay with just sitting back now. No, this time he moves his artillery. I'm bringing up smoke now. Maybe I can smoke push myself into the zone. But really, I should be smoke pushing into the area where there's more townish, more like cover and everything. And instead, I'm fighting in the open here. HGM's getting hit on the M1. 
No go and any real kills though. He's gonna smoke himself off. I'm gonna fire at the Bradley now. Get a clean kill on the Bradley. Over here I'm pushing and I'm getting overwhelmed by the engineers now that I've come over here. With the Bradley. I see another CV command here. You can see with the BGS. Just about somehow. Getting ready to fire. Not quite. Somehow we didn't stun there. He moves out now. It's just bad luck that I didn't stun him. I see a decent amount of tanks here. I got one, two, three, four. A fifth coming, I think, somewhere, right? Didn't isn't there one around here? I guess no, it's just these four right now. So a lot of tanks. Oh no, there is a fifth one over here. It's got five tanks on me. Very little can stop him. I'm gonna start dropping smoke. And in a plane here to go for the Cobra. Missed both of them, sadly. And get shot down. I decided to buy one more to finish off the Cobra. I didn't think he may ha didn't have that many in his deck. Do kill the Cobra there. And this time, he misses his phantom shots. Missing all the shots, and he peels off. Let me get, let's, let me get away with it. I'm smoking, bluffing him right now. I really don't have anything in here. <laughs> it's a follow up. I'm gonna go for the Ito, I'm gonna go for the Bradley. We see the Bradley with this. I knew there was an Ito still in this building. They killed my CV earlier. Good micro by Team Man though, somehow he survives. This Ito, not so lucky. <laughs> Sniper's just ripping me apart. I'm kind of interested in the Sniper Trey, what's it exactly do here? Sniper's unit gains an extra level of stealth, plus a 500% damage boost and accuracy bonus when not moving. This unit must remain still at least 10 seconds for this take effect. Going for another Cobra, get a clean kill. It's F15 and Phantom come out now. A little bit too late. I'm gonna try to get back in the zone now. Keep smoking. I got my artillery about to start aiming at these positions too. Aim for that Bradley still that I got eyes on, and I'm gonna aim for this engineer squad. But he routes it from the building. I think I'm gonna change targets here. Yeah, you can see me. Got a CV, I think, on the lookout, ready to go. <laughs> He's building up a huge blob here. We got what? Three more tanks, four tanks. And now we see this is the tank blob coming together. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine tanks in the battlefield. That's nine? Maybe I'm wrong. Four. No, it's eight tanks in the battlefield. Buying reinforcements for over here. <laughs> Just to help out. That's a lot of tanks, though. 
don't know. I mean... I decide this is my moment. I'm gonna go in for the zone. <coughs> See him coming in here with all these tri teams. I decided to go for the kills. Shoots me down, but I was willing to take the casualties. I go in for one of the Apaches, kill another Apache there. I actually shoot something down. These are Mirage 2000s. Unfortunately, he disappears on me right there. And it catches me off guard and loses all my aircraft. Got my CV in the zone. Capping. Make a fatal mistake here and put it in an angle that he could shoot me. See, he does. Smoke eases up. I should be right here. Pops me. I have a lot of tanks built up over here. The lawns too. See, running a CV in there, and I've already lost quite a few CVs, so I don't really have them. I have a CV tank coming, a CV tank over here, that's about it. Trying to get some of these tanks out, and Bradley's dead. Keep missing, though. Misses again, man. Bad RNG right here. Or some more Milan carriers, but we're just missing all the Bradleys. Doesn't even die to a Milan 24 hitting him. I have an LGB looking for to get that CV. I said I'm gonna go for one of the Abrams at least. Bombs away. It's a nice hit on me. F4 Phantom's coming in on me though. He's gonna sacrifice himself. I'm gonna go for the command tank. Got my missiles away. So the missiles jerked out still. Over here, that's another tank blob just annihilating me. A lot of wasted resources on the left flank right now. Can't really move up. He's plus two on me. I need to get a CV into the zone. I got a CV coming though. I'm rotating my mortars in a second. Artillery is still pounding me. He's got what? Three tanks here, tank over here. Still got two tanks over here. We got a wave of more Bradleys coming here with dragons. Beside, I'm gonna go for a bombing run on the command tank. He does move out of the way. Hits me, but no kill. I decided I'm gonna smoke off. Try to get the Bradley here. <clears throat> He's pushing over here as well. Tank blobs pinstering me. I only have two CVs left. One over here and one over here. To another Apache coming in on me. I'm gonna drop smoke and I'm gonna go for it. He brings in supply helos to get himself going again. Give me a VLRA here. You can see with the scout. 
Moving my tank in now to decap. 10 minutes on the clock. Buying reinforcements. <laughs> He's gonna move this thing in. I I set up a little bit of a trap here. I was like, alright, when he enters the zone, I can start firing here. So he, he figures out, goes forward instead of backwards. Actually hit some of his stingers here by mistake. Move his AT4 teams forward. Trying to move my Ho 2 forward to kill his Abrams. The stingers are hitting me. I do smoke off here though. Just in time. He sees Apache here. I'm going to go for it. And it's not only good, he's got plenty of time to win. This Bradley blob's coming over to me. Gonna go to the cover. There's this big blob here, and he's got another blob over here, and I really there's not much I can do about it. He's got even more coming. <clears throat> this time I'm gonna smoke and try to run into here. Roland's moved up way too close. And we'll go at two speed here. See my tanks are taking pounding here. There's really nothing I can do at this point. The blob has gotten too critical and I don't have any like real ways to stop it. So I start probing the other flanks here. But I can't see these units now. I don't really have enough guys. And he's got this blob here to prevent it, even if I wanted to. I decide I'm going to smoke off the angle here and try to push. Fortunately, all my A misses. But you can see the blob here now. It's like, so much firepower. There's not much I can do. Using my artillery to try to suppress some of this stuff. I'm gonna smoke push to try to get back into both zones. Hey, Mex, last one. But there's too many tanks here as well. Tanks move over the side, pop me. I try to move into here. But you know, he's capped that point too. Even if I even break through over here. There's nothing I can do. I only have one CV and that's going to die any second. And that is game. Anyway, thanks Team Man for playing. Uh, he's ranked number four right now. Um, I'll see you guys around. Um, you know, check out my YouTube. <laughs> check, out my, check out my Twitch. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you guys around. Thanks for watching.